Hi guys! A lot of you have been asking for this tutorial and it's finally here. So this is my in-depth tutorial for how I make my gouache paintings. I normally collage four or five images together for the reference photo just so that I have an original image. But before I get started, let's go through my supplies. I use both Strathmore and Canson, but I really prefer the artboards over anything else because of how thick they are. They don't warp as much as regular watercolor paper does. You guys have asked me the brushes that I use the most, and although I don't think that the type of brush that you use matters other than the fact that it's watercolor, I'm going to have all of these supplies linked down below so that you can find them. And my favorite part is the gouache. I use a lot of different brands, but the one that I use the most is Hemi, and this is the big 56 color palette that you guys were freaking out about, and I freak out about it too, even though I've had it for like a month. And then I also have the smaller palette I still use, and then I got these Japanese colors that I definitely cannot pronounce, but I will put the name on the screen, and I use my Arteza gouache. These are so opaque and such good quality, and I definitely recommend these if you're just starting out. And last but not least, we have the paint pens that I use. Arteza is pretty solid for these two, but my go-to is definitely Posca. I have the medium tips and the small tip. And now we finally arrive at the technique portion of this video. This is going to be a little bit harder for me to explain, so if I'm not hitting on anything, please comment it below and I will answer it to the best of my ability. Keeping the paints wet is pretty simple. I spray them about every 15 minutes or so when I'm using them. If you're just starting out, I highly encourage you to go study color theory because it's going to be very important for blending. Make sure for your sky, for example, that the colors aren't neighboring on the color wheel. And when you're blending it out with water, less is more. Remember that you can always add more water, but it's much more difficult to take it away. This part takes a lot of learning and technique when you're blending gouache because it's not a traditional practice, but I kind of transferred this over from my acrylic days. So my next tip is to go from light to dark. So for example, with these clouds, you can see that I'm doing my highlight and then I'm putting in my midtone and I'm finishing it with shadows and you can touch it up afterwards. But what working from light to dark does is it keeps it from getting muddy and from the colors kind of bleeding into each other too much. If your piece is getting muddy, I encourage you to let it dry completely and then come back to it. So if I only gave you one piece of advice that I would ask that you take away from this video, it is using the fat over lean rule that we use when we're painting with oils. So your most watered down layers are going to be on the bottom and then your more medium filled layers and that means like more gouache less water is going to be on top and this is going to help stop it from reactivating your layers underneath so by logic the less water there is the less reactivation that goes on so if the highlight midtone shadow method doesn't work for you you can try midtones first and then highlights and then shadows and you can use this especially if you like blending your layers a little bit more and you don't necessarily want them to be like standalone so while all of these tips are great, the biggest secret, quite honestly, is to practice because if you looked at the beginning of my gouache sketchbook versus where I am now, a lot of it is just practicing over and over and over again, which I know every artist says and we hate it, but it's very true. So when your piece is finished and to your liking, there's two different methods for sealing it. You can either use a spray sealant, which I personally don't choose, but I have one on hand just in case, or you can frame it for protection, which is normally what I opt to do. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and please comment anything that I didn't hit on. But until then, I will see you guys next time.